Hi, my name is Hugo Connery. Um, I'm here at the MORG 28th conference in Vienna uh, and I'm going to uh, give you some information about uh, a new technology called Response Policy Zones, uh, which I've presented at the conference. Response Policy Zones, shortened to RPZ or RPZ, uh, are an extension of the, uh, the domain name system that's been implemented in the BIND uh, resolver. The key to the technology is to use uh, reputational data that's available from various data providers to uh, control which uh, domains people can access. It's a filtering mechanism that operates um, in the domain name system. So if you set up a resolver which is, has some data that you may define locally or use as many external data providers as you wish, you can then control uh, which, um, which domains may not be reached. Uh, this is essentially a, a filtering mechanism. Uh, the intended use of it is to prevent people from accidentally vi visiting domains that are full of dangerous content. Um, so phishing scams and drive-by downloads and, and so forth. So um, it's, a, it's a technology that's taken a while to reach some notoriety, um, but it's, it's becoming of great interest um, in the recent uh, time. And we've got some great data available from the data vendors. So I implemented a trial um, of, the, of the technology at our organisation, uh, which is the Technical University of Denmark. And we ran the trial for, for four weeks and, and got some great data. We, we prevented um, many, many potential visits to, to nasty sites. We identified some systems that were infected, despite the fact that they had professional antivirus solutions with latest definitions. Um, so we got a greater in insight into the sorts of things that are happening on our network. Um, and so the end result of all of that was, was no inconvenience to the organisation. Um, there, were, there were no false positives reported during the event. Uh, it was a very positive experience. And of course, it also raised the awareness of, of you know, the, the sort of things that were happening on the network, um, increased the security awareness of the IT organisation. Um, so the, the, the technology itself actually has a lot of other potential uses and the community is now starting to look at it and see what other, other innovative solutions uh, can be deployed from this. But the simplest um, use is just to do that, to protect client systems, to prevent them from visiting uh, nasty domains. Uh, it's a very simple uh, solution to put together. Um, it really can be a set, set and forget solution. Uh, alternatively, you, know, you can look at the, the logging data that's, that's occurring and, and then using that logging data, you can then you know, identify systems on, on networks that are you know, looking suspicious or so forth, um, which, is, which is the sort of tool that I, I built to, um, you know, um, uh, gather that logging data and then make it easily analysable by the security community at our, uh, our organisation. So that's a summary of, of response policy zones. Um, it currently is uh, only available in the BIND resolver released by the Internet Systems Consortium and uh, we're hopefully awaiting for other commercial vendors um, of uh, DNS resolution software to implement the, um, the technology. Um, the Internet Systems Consortium released uh, the uh, specification for uh, the technology. It's open and published, so we're looking forward to um, the other commercial vendors uh, implementing this. Um, and and uh, we're very happy that you know there is right, all, right now already um, a, a lot of there is data out there in the commercial reputation providers available in this format. Um, so we're really looking forward to uh, an increased use of this uh, potentially very exciting technology.